What's going on guys? Goozy Style here with another video and today I am super excited guys. My WL mouse is finally here. So let's unbox it. Let's talk about uh, first reactions, first impressions. Let's weigh the mouse and let's talk about it guys. Let's get into the video. Let's open this thing. Oh yeah! All right, here we are guys. WL mouse finally showed up. It's been about a month since I, uh, since I, I first ordered it. Uh, but this is the box that it comes in. Uh, it's got some moisture proof, fragile, upward, and sunscreen, guys. It's got some sunscreen protection. Isn't that crazy, bro? All right, let's go ahead and open this bad boy. I am super excited, man. I've been waiting for this mouse for a while. Uh, as you can see, I main the uh, super light. And I also main the uh, Starlight 12 right here. So these are my two mice that I mainly use. So this one is going to be replacing my, uh, my super light, my Logitech super light. Looks like it comes in a nice white box. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Look at that, guys. That's a clean, clean looking box. Actually, kind of a wider box uh, that I'm used to here. Let me show you guys my final mouse box. So this right here is the uh, final mouse Poseidon box. So the WL mouse is much, much wider. This is a much, much wider box. So uh, we'll have to see why it's so much bigger than this box. So let's go. Yeah, let's go ahead and open this up. And of course, guys, I like to keep my boxes for all my uh, peripherals that I do buy. So I want to be very careful with this so I can keep it and display it. So let's go ahead and open this very carefully. Oh my god. Guys. That's clean. That is a clean, clean unboxing experience. That is so clean. So right here, this is the mouse, of course, and this is the dongle. Uh, so let me talk about the mouse a little bit before we get started. So this is a 34 gram magnesium mouse. So they say it's 34 grams. We're going to go ahead and test that. I do have a scale right here that we'll be testing this. But they claim this is going to be a 34 gram magnesium mouse. Uh, it's got a 3395 sensor. It can go up to 26,000 DPI. And you can run it at 4,000 hertz. So if you guys don't know what any of that means, most mice nowadays, you can run up to 1,000 hertz. Um, this one, you can run up to 4,000 hertz. And basically what that means, it just means it sends the uh, information to your computer uh, just faster. So you get more information, more input information. Uh, so yeah, I want to, let's take this out real quick. Oh my God, guys, this looks so nice, bro. Yeah, I'll talk about the coding later, but for now, I just want to go ahead and um, and look to see what's inside the box before we get into the actual mouse. Dude, this, guys, this is the dongle. Look, it's like a little cat. You guys see that? It's like a little, like a little cat. Bro, that is so cute, dude. <laughs> All right, so that's the box. The box opens up really nicely. It's like a, you kind of like open it up like a, I don't know, like a cupboard or something. And wow, it looks like we got a lot of goodies in here. So we got some, I think these are glass skates. I've actually never tried glass skates, but this, this one comes with glass skates. So a set of free glass skates. Another set of glass skates. And actually, this is cool because when you first ordered this mouse, uh, as part of like the uh the beginner's batch, they asked you what your um your uh your sign was. So like a Capricorn, Leo, Libra, all that stuff. So I'm a I'm a Capricorn, so I pick I picked the Capricorn one. So that one says, I don't know if you guys can see it, it says Capricornus. So this is another set of glass skates that you can go ahead and put on your mouse if you want. Uh, I don't know exactly which ones I'm going to use, but hey, another, um, another, another set of goodies, another set of skates. So that's pretty cool. We got a couple of, uh, of, uh, uh, anime little stickers here. That looks pretty cool. 
So it's like a little anime girl holding a little uh, black cat. And I don't know what all these mice, all these, um, it's a bunch of little stickers. I don't know what they're for. Do they go on the side buttons or something? No, I'm not sure. But hey, some stickers. Of course, we got the cable. Let's open this up. We're going to need this for sure. Yeah, some decoration stickers. Like I said, I don't really know exactly where I'm going to put them. I typically don't ever use stickers that I get from my peripherals. Uh, but we do get a braided cable, so that's pretty nice. We'll have to hook that up later. And we get a little carry bag, guys. So you guys can take your mouse to like a LAN or something. Or you can like take it to your first date and show it off. Or I, I don't even know, but hey. The more goodies we get, the better, I think. You know, the more free stuff we get, that's that's always welcomed in my book. So, yeah, that's what we get, guys. And, of course, we get uh, this little booklet here. What's in here? Oh, my God. There's more skates. Dude, how many skates are they going to give us? More skates, guys. So, we get, like, three sets of skates. I think these two are glass skates, and this one's a PTFE skate. So they gave us quite a lot of stuff. And also they got some uh, some grip tape. So, for example, for if you don't like the texture of the side of the mouse, you can put some grip tape on there. And it, it, it'll not only like give, a li uh, give it a little bit more of a thickness to it, but also it'll give you some nice grip. So that actually looks pretty good. I don't know if I'll use this, but it's nice to have. And a little booklet with uh, an instruction manual and stuff like that uh, in different languages and all that good stuff. So yeah, we don't really care about that. What we care about is the mouse itself. Uh, yeah, guys, this actually looks pretty good, man. A lot of good stuff. This is the most stuff I've gotten from a mouse ever. Typically, you just get like some some skates and um, and the mouse itself. Uh, very rare that like, they gave you so many so many little uh, extra peripheral stuff, extra accessories. So yeah, let's go ahead and pull this aside. All right, here it is, guys. All right. I want to talk about the uh, the dongle itself, guys. So if you guys look over here, this is what most mice dongles look like. They are the little wireless receiver. And they're typically kind of like flat. Or in some cases, they can look like this, right? This one actually looks really cute. It looks like a little mouse. Uh, in fact, it even says like WL cat here. I don't know if you guys can see that. WL cat. The one thing I don't like about this dongle is if you guys know about the original uh, WL mouse beast, it actually comes with like a, like a cube. And the cube has a little display screen that shows your DPI, your your uh, your polling rates, and even it, it can even display like uh, the battery life and the time. And you can actually change what you want displayed on that screen. So in fact, I f even though this is kind of cute, I feel like this is kind of a step back to be honest. I do like the cat, but I wish I had something more where I could like it would tell me what my DPI was, my 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 polling rate, all the stuff. I think that that is um, I think it might be a little bit of a step backwards, but overall the dongle does look pretty cute. Now the mouse itself, man. Oh my god, man, this looks so clean, man. Oh my god, that looks super clean. It actually comes pre-installed with some dot skates. So it doesn't come with like the big skates that everyone is used to. For example, if you look at my final mouse, it comes with these kinds of skates. And if you look at my super light, it comes with big, big, big skates. I've actually never used dot skates before. Uh, but I'll give these a try. If I don't like them, I'll just swap them, right? The glide feels pretty okay, I guess. With these skates, the glide feels all right. Yeah, it doesn't feel too, too bad. By the way, I I am using a, a an Artisan mouse pad. This is the Heian Medium. Actually, it glides pretty good, man. I don't like the small corner skates like that because it feels scratchy. Th yeah, I, I people have been saying that, AMR, but this one doesn't feel too, too scratchy. I'm going to go ahead and try it out for maybe like a few days. And if I don't like it, I will, of course, change the skates. But yeah, these are these are uh, some little dot skates. Uh, now let's go ahead and weigh this mouse. They claim it's supposed to weigh thirty four grams. So let's go ahead and, and see what see what it actually weighs. Now this is not the most accurate scale ever. Uh, for a little bit of reference, my final mouse weighs about forty six grams. Forty six grams. So. Um, yeah, so the final mouse uh, Starlight 
small weighs 46. Let's see what this weighs. Again, supposed to be 34 grams. 36? I mean, plus or minus 2 grams? Yeah, so 36 grams. So it's 2 two more grams that, than it's advertised. That's that's okay. I feel like I feel like if you're going to complain about 2 grams, uh, just clip your fingernails or wash your hands, I guess. Uh... <laughs> Uh, the mouse feels actually pretty good. It very much resembles the feel of my um, of my Starlight, to be honest. They very much feel the same way. Some people have been saying that it feels really, really, really small. I'll be honest, dude. It feels around the same. It feels the same on hand. Uh, you can definitely tell the difference between those ten, that 10 gram difference, man. Because this is 10 grams heavier than this at this point. And dude, even though 10 grams is nothing, you can really feel it on hand, man. That's crazy. Um, as far as balance is concerned, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the battery pack is back here. I think in the first iterations of this mice of this mouse, the battery was a little bit more forward and it made the mouse a little front heavy. Uh, I think they made some adjustments and moved the battery pack backwards a little bit. I don't know if you guys can tell that white spot right there. That's the battery. Uh, I think they did that to balance the mouse, so it's not like front heavy or backwards heavy. It is very, very well balanced. So, yeah, you don't you don't feel like it's front heavy or back heavy. It actually feels pretty well balanced, to be honest. Uh, as for build quality, I don't hear any shaking or anything. I think some people were complaining about uh, them slamming it and it activating clicks. I mean, honestly, I don't think it, this feels really solid. Now I'm not the per I'm not I'm not a person that likes to squeeze the crap out of their mice just for the sake of testing mouse quality, but this feels pretty rock solid, man. The uh, mouse wheel is nice and centered. Yeah, the mouse wheel is very very centered. It feels pretty smooth. You can definitely feel the steps. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But it's not as loud as, for example, my my uh, my super light. Here, look, li listen to this. This one is super loud. This is my uh, my super light. Yeah, this is nice and quiet, and you can definitely feel the steps uh, every time you move it. So that feels really nice. Uh, as for the color, so guys, the price of this mouse was one hundred and fifty nine dollars. And depending on what colorway you went with, it could be more expensive or, or cheaper. This is the most expensive one, $159. And the reason for that is the coating. So I don't know if, if you guys can tell, but this is a, uh, I think they call it the blue eyes colorway. But can you guys tell that little like pearlescent hue to it? Like it's blue, but then it changes to like a little like a magenta or pinkish. So I think that is one of the reasons why this one is a little more expensive. But, dude, that looks beautiful, man. Oh, that looks so good, man. Depending on how the light look, uh, touches it, you get a little bit of, like, a, a pearlescent look to it. Yeah, that looks really nice. Uh, and, of course, I don't know if you guys can tell, but you got a little cat uh, engraving there. And right up here, you got little paw prints, little cat paw prints there. So, I think the coating, combination of the coating and these little engravings is what makes this colorway uh, more expensive than the rest. I think some of the other ones are like 150 and uh, another and some of the other colorways are 140, but this one is $159. Uh, but yeah, the scroll wheel feels great. The click actually feels very dampened. It, uh, the click of the scroll wheel feels very uh, quiet. The side buttons feel crispy. Not a lot of pre-travel or post-travel. It actually feels really, really solid. And the clicks, the clicks feel crispy, man. Yeah, they feel really, really nice, very responsive. Almost a little light, to be honest, but that was one of my main complaints with this, uh, the Starlight. These clicks feel a little too heavy at times. And in some games, it almost feels like they get stuck. So like if I'm spamming like a, like a pistol or something, sometimes I'll get stuck. I don't think there's going to be an issue with this one, to be honest, because of how light the clicks are. Yeah, that, that feels really, really nice. Feels really, really crispy. Really responsive. I'll have to test this out in game, of course. Uh, as far as like size and shape, guys, this is a smaller mouse. I think it is uh, about 115, 116 millimeters long. Um, so it is just as long as the Startlight 12. 
Uh, so if you have bigger, bigger hands, you might have an issue palm gripping the mouse. Uh, I think if you have small hands, this is a perfect mouse for either type of, of grip. So you can do you can do like a fingertip grip or you can do like a, like a claw grip or a, palms, uh, a palm grip. If you have like medium to large hands, you might not be able to grip this mouse in a certain specific way. But obviously, this is a mouse that is meant for either people with smaller hands or people that like to either fingertip or claw grip their mouse. Um, but yeah, guys, I am super excited to try this mouse out. Uh, I want to go ahead and do like a week of gaming on this and uh, play different shooters. For example, Valorant, um, maybe even Apex Legends, even though I haven't played that game in a long time. A little bit of Fortnite and try it out in different types of games to see how this mouse feels. Uh, and then maybe after a week or so of like straight game time, uh, I want to come back with a full review of this mouse. But overall, this mouse looks and feels really great on hand. Um, yeah, I am actually very impressed with the color. The coating looks really good. Uh, it doesn't feel super glossy or, or slippery. It actually feels like it's got some texture to it, like grip to it. But again, if you don't like the grip, then you can go ahead and put some of the, uh, the, the grip tape that they, that comes included in the mouse. Something else worth pointing out, and I've decided to change scenes here to give you a better view is how the motherboard of the WL mouse mini is attached to the frame. Now, most mice use screws to attach the motherboards to their frames. However, it looks like WL mouse has decided to go with some kind of faceting system here. As you can see, there is this plastic that holds the motherboard to the frame. Now, I'm not sure why they've decided to go this route, maybe to save them some weights or maybe to save them some manufacturing cost. I'm not really sure. And I don't think this is going to affect 99% of the people that decide to go with this mouse. However, if you're somebody that likes to go inside your mouse and maybe change the switches or encoder for some aftermarket options, this might prove to be difficult. I'm not really sure. Uh, but like I said, this probably won't affect the majority of users, uh, but definitely something worth pointing out. Last thing I want to talk about is about software. Now, to make sure your WL Mouse Mini is running with the most up-to-date software and drivers, you're going to want to visit the WL Mouse website. Once you're here, you're going to notice a download tab. Go ahead and click that. Scroll down just a little bit, and you're going to see two mini files. You're going to want to download both of these files. One of these files will give you access to the firmware updater, which will update both your mouse and your dongle. And the other file is just going to download the uh, software, which will allow you to uh, change the DPI settings on your mouse, the polling rate, uh, the liftoff distance, and as well as some lighting options. So go ahead and download both of those files. I've already downloaded them on my end. Uh, so pull up your download, downloads folder, and you should have both files looking like this. Uh, the WL Beast Mini 4K mouse, this is the driver update file. Go ahead and open that. And this will look something like this. Now, you want to download and update both your mouse and your dongle. So go ahead and connect your mouse to your PC via the provided USB-C cable. Once that's connected, go ahead and update your mouse. This should only take about a minute. Uh, once that's done, go ahead and connect your dongle to your PC with the USB-C cable provided. And you're going to go ahead and update that. Again, it should only take about a minute. Once that's done, your mouse and your dongle should be fully updated, and then you can go ahead and mess around with the software. Now, the software looks something like this. Once, you're, uh, once you open up the software, you'll have access to your Beast Mini. You're going to go ahead and click that. And these are the options that you can mess around with. So you're going to have your Performance tab, Key Binding, Macro, and Lighting tab. Uh, on the performance tab, you can go ahead and make profiles. You can change the polling rate. I mean, I chose 2000 Hertz, uh, just because 4000 Hertz is a little extra. You know, I don't think anybody needs 4000 Hertz at this point. You would really need a crazy computer to be able to really make use of 4000 Hertz and running your mouse at 4000 Hertz is going to make your battery die really, really quickly. Um, but also you can change your DPI. Uh, you can change your debounce time, your sleep time. Uh, right now, I have mine at a minute. So if I don't use my mouse for a minute, it will go to sleep. And of course, you lift off distance as well as some other options. Uh, on the key binding tab, you can you can change the key bindings of your mouse if you want. Macro, if you play any games that require some kind of macro, you can go ahead, go ahead and mess around with that in this tab. And of course, the most important part, the lighting tab. Here, you can go ahead and change the lighting of your dongle. 
Uh, you can go from a single color to breathing, or you can just turn it off completely. Uh, you can choose from a variety of preset colors, or you can go ahead and change uh, the color according to this little slider, or if you have any RGB code colors that you particularly like, you can go ahead and do that uh, this way. But yeah, a lot of options and uh, a lot of cool little features here that you can go ahead and mess around with once you've updated your mouse completely. So yeah, there it is, guys. There's my uh, unboxing and just uh, first initial impressions of the uh, WL Mouse Mini. Man, I've been, I'm re I've been really excited for this mouse. I am so, so excited to try this out in game. Uh, again, after a week or so of gameplay, and uh, I'll be making another video, a follow-up video, and then talking about how this mouse actually performs. Uh, but everything about this mouse, as far as specs are concerned, is very much up to date, especially the sensor. It, it you know it runs the 3395 sensor. So yeah, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you uh, enjoyed that video. If you have any questions, please go ahead and post in the comments. Uh, if you're watching from YouTube, uh, if you like the video, of course, consider subscribing. And if you ever want to catch me live, please come over to Twitch uh, TV slash Goosey Style. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye.